In the spate of coronavirus pandemic, the primate of all Nigeria, Ndukuba, urges Christians not to panic. Primate Ndokuba receives congratulatory messages from family and clergymen. Bishop Oluma Kaye urges Christians, citizens of Nigeria, and the entire world to seek for safety in God in these trying times. This is news on the hour on Advent Cable Network Nigeria, ACNN TV. I am Charles Philip Wakolam. In the spate of the coronavirus pandemic and with the rising fears of a probable lockdown in certain cities in Nigeria, the new primate of the Anglican Church in Nigeria, Most Reverend Henry Ndokuba, has charged Christians to remember that God remains God. According to the primate, Christians should not panic, for God is their refuge and strength. He made the call during an interview with ACNN News crew at the National Secretariat of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, St. Matthias House. You are important. Every one of us, young and old, boys and girls, men and women, we are all important. And the Church of Nigeria needs you. God needs you. Your family needs you. And to this extent, we want to address all our people that we are standing with you in prayer. Those that have been affected, those that have been infected, those that are suffering hunger or limitations in one way or the other, know that God is with us. And therefore, we should not be afraid. We should not panic. We are trusting the Lord that the Lord will keep us alive. This phase will pass away. And because it is a passing time, we need to look up to the Lord. We shall not be afraid. Why? Because the God of Jacob is with us. The primate of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, His Grace Most Reverend Henry Chukudum Ndokuba, has called for the cooperation of all the Anglican faithful in the Church of Nigeria during his 10 years of primacy. He made this known during the service of commemoration of the completion of the Archbishop Nicholas Oko's decade of primacy and the presentation of the Most Reverend Henry Ndokuba as the fifth Archbishop, Metropolitan and Primate of the Church of Nigeria. A CNN News correspondent, Nzubeti Frank, has the details. A decision that was taken at a meeting of the House of Bishops on the fourth ballot came to play as the Most Reverend Henry Ndokoba became the fifth Archbishop Metropolitan Primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. The service that was held at the Cathedral Church of the Advent Life Camp Guarimpa Abuja had in attendance Archbishops, Bishops from different ecclesiastical provinces and the former Primate, His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas Oko, who bowed out as the Primate of the Church of Nigeria in the middle of the service. After performing the ritual that was expected of him, Chukudu Ndokoba and his wife Angela Berechuku, as the fifth Archbishop, Metropolitan, and Primate of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. In the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. During his first sermon as the Primate of the Church of Nigeria, his Grace the Most Reverend Henry Chukudum Ndokoba called for the cooperation of everyone in the Church of God, especially the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion Faithful. We cannot do it alone. We need the cooperation of every one of us. Every one of us is important in the Church of Nigeria. Young and old, men and women. Everybody has a place, a role to play. And by the grace of God, we will operate an open door. We will desire truth. We will desire cooperation. We will desire sacrifice, laboring 
And even if it will mean suffering, let it be to the glory of God. After the service, the Paramit's mother and son, together with some clergymen and ladies, had this to say. <laughs> My prayer for him is from the scriptures in First Corinthians. Say, as Christ is made to us the wisdom and the power of God, I pray that in these ten years he will act in the wisdom and the power of God. Yeah, I sincerely congratulate the new primate, uh, uh, Most Reverend Doctor. Uh, Ndukuba, that God will grant him success and his ministry will be fruitful. On behalf of all the churches in the Anglican Diocese of the Trinity in Canada, uh, we congratulate him and pray that uh, he will succeed in this new calling. My prayer for them is I wish them good health. I wish them the abundance and the fullness of God's Spirit in wisdom, in might, in grace. Prime Minister, I just retired. Uh, I want to thank God for the decade he served us for what God used him to do in the Church of Nigeria and has left some legacies which we must sustain. And also we rejoice as we thank God for the new primate who has come with his own new vision with dynamism. I'd like to congratulate His Grace, the Most Reverend Henry C. Ndukuba, our new primate. We rejoice with him. We pray that God Almighty will grant him wisdom knowledge and understanding and we give him the capacity that befits that office. We congratulate our new primate. It's been a journey from the election, day of election, to this day with all the intrigues, turbulence. We thank God that in his own right time he has made everything beautiful. This is something we witnessed once in ten years and um, our heart goes out to say congratulations to the new primates and the mama primates. And we pray that their time, that's the tenure they are going to serve in the Church of God here in Nigeria, that it will be a fruitful one. We congratulate both former and current primates. We congratulate Baba Oko for a successful completion of a wonderful and I'm sure fulfilling tenure for him. And we want to welcome and congratulate our new Baba, uh, Primate Henry. It's our prayer that God will uplift him. For the Most Reverend Henry Ndokoba, his decade as Primate Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion is for the reign of God. In Abuja, Uzubechi Frank reporting for ACN News. Meanwhile, the Archbishop of the Kaduna Ecclesiastical Province, Bishop of Usasa Diocese, and the Dean of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Ali Buba Lamido, has taken our time to congratulate the Primate of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. His congratulatory message came in an interview with ACNN News crew. I congratulate my brother, Henry Ndukuba, the new primate. I want to say that he is capable, he is uh, faithful. We have known him for many years to be a man who loves the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he should continue in his Christian life and not be distracted as a Christian. Uh, added to this, he must work very hard to unite our church, especially the bishops, the dioceses, um, the whole church of Nigeria uh, must be united and we must have peace in our church. And uh, also be innovative. Be also a listening primate who will listen to all and then also act as a primate. Um, action and decision making is very important to any leader and that is my call and appeal to the new primate. 
Still on the messages of congratulation, the Archbishop of the Enugu Ecclesiastical Province, Anglican Communion, His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Chukuma, has described the primate of the Anglican Church of Nigeria, His Grace the Most Reverend Chukudum Henry Ndukuba, as someone who is principled, prayerful, fearless, and above all, evangelical. He made this known in an interview with ACNN News correspondent Nzubechi Frank while sending his congratulatory messages. So he is a calm person, he's a principled person, and somebody who is also progressive and very fearless. So I think he is going to really move on with Church of Nigeria with all the policies that desired. He knows his onions, he's a theologian, he's a prayerful man. We are grateful to God for him, we wish him well. And we want to say that uh, we pray that all bishops and members of the church, we cooperate with him. He's an evangelical. Meanwhile, also in an interview with ACNN, the Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical Province of Jos, His Grace the Most Reverend Ibrahim Marcus, sent his message to the new primate. It's an honor that no man can give. It's only God Almighty that gave it to him and nobody can take it from him. So it's a heavy tax, a normal tax given to him to lead our church. It's such a crucial time where we have the coronavirus, a pandemic that is destroying the whole world. The economy is biting. Things are very difficult in the country. We ask God Almighty to uphold him, to strengthen him. And whatever he needs to serve effectively, let heaven open unto him. But I wish you all the best. Lord will strengthen you. Our church will grow from grace to grace, from glory to glory, in the name of Jesus. Away from uh, congratulatory messages, the Anglican Bishop of Lagos, Church of Nigeria, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Oluma Kaye, has addressed the members of the Diocese of Lagos, citizens of Nigeria, and the entire world about the safety in the Almighty God in these trying times in the world and the need to trust God absolutely with the future. In a video clip released online, the bishop encouraged everyone not to lose hope or faith and not to give in to fear, but make sure to follow every directive and keep safe. Please bear it in mind that this is not a time to fear, but time to be strong in the Lord Jesus Christ and to increase in your faith, because God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of sound mind. Please don't panic, be strong in the Lord. I can boldly assure you that this too will soon pass away. It is a challenge which we must all cooperate with the government at all levels to fight and to overcome. As we pay careful attention to the government directives in fighting these meanings, you must not joke with your personal and family hygiene now and always. This is a period in human history where money, status, wealth, power combined have failed us all. And now we must remain prayerful and united to defeat this outbreak. He announced that the church will keep in touch with their members throughout this period via the church's online platforms. Let us spend more time on our needs. I've encouraged all our priests to stay connected with you through our diocese and churches online platforms. And please stay tuned to Lagoon Radio, Lagoon TV, and ACNN. I pray for you. This pandemic will not consume you and your household. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ will speak better things than the blood of Abel will grant you victory. No evil report will be heard about you and your household. No virus will touch you and your household in the name of Jesus. You in obedience to the government directives and measures to curb the COVID-19, some dioceses in the Anglican Communion are taking measures and steps to obey government and also to keep members in communion. The Diocese of Abuja has encouraged members as well as all Anglican faithful to stream services live on ACNN TV on Sundays by 7 a.m., 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. 
while in the Diocese of Kubwa, the Diocesan Bishop, Right Reverend Duke Akamisoko, through the Diocesan Director of Administration, Venerable Barrister Tunde Oyeshino, has issued directives via a one-page letter dated 26th March 2020 to the priests and the laity to worship from their homes. The letter also announced cancellation of every form of worship, including Sunday services, house fellowships, and prayer meetings. In the diocese on the Niger, notice has also been passed through same means to all the unit churches in a two-page letter dated 27th March 2020. The diocesan bishop, right Reverend Dr. Owen Mokolo, has suspended every form of worship from Monday 30th till Tuesday, April 14, 2020. He also announced that Palm Sunday, Good Friday, and Easter early morning procession will not hold this year. However, the bishop, cathedral, priests, and immediate families will celebrate statutory Easter service privately. The church leaders, however, urged everyone to be fervent in prayers for God to avert this world pandemic. And still to come, missionary bishop of Kenya felicitates with the new primates. Many more will come after the break. Why do we fall ill? Is it possible to stay without falling ill? Is God interested in our health? Can we get access to cheaper health anywhere? Do you want tips on how to stay healthy? Then join me, Angela Weze, on Health Watch every Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. with repeat broadcasts on Thursday at 2 p.m. and Saturday at 1.30 p.m. as health experts provide answers to your questions on how to remain healthy physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually here on Anglican Cable Network Nigeria. God bless you. You're welcome back. Thanks for staying tuned. For more on our top stories, please visit our website at acnntv.com or youtube.com forward slash acnntv to be up to date with our news and other programs. Download the VM Africa app for Android from Google Play Store. Christians have been charged to shun every form of religiosity and follow the ways of Christ by being a light to those around them and also reflecting this light through their lifestyles for all to see. This call was made by the retired priest of the Diocese of Abuja, the Venerable Obioma Onzurumba, speaking with ACNN in an interview with ACNN News correspondent Wane Ogechuku on the issue of religion and its impact on lives. The retired cleric stressed that religion without encounter is worthless. I dare to say that religion without character is just a mere ritual. And I think that's the problem we have in Nigeria. I want to think about those who go to church, but they're not Christians. A lot of people stream into the mosque, but their lives are nothing to show righteousness. So religion is not the problem per se. I think the problem is that people are not, you know, aiming at religion that transforms, right? Religion is actually trying to follow sets of rules. But when we talk about the one I know very well, talk about being a Christian, it's a life. It's life that you receive. It's, it's a borrowed life. It's Christ that gives you the life and turns you around. Merely going to church doesn't immediately turn you to become a Christian. You probably will get used to rituals of your church, but your heart is still prone to evil. In Christianity, righteousness is a gift from God. And when you experience it, you are not the same. And that's when you become a transforming agent in society. I cannot speak about Islam because I'm not a specialist there. But that which I have experienced is the one I can talk about that. No genuine Christian, no one who has had a, an encounter with Christ 
can remain the same. Now to the international scene. The Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of the West and Missionary Bishop of Convocation of Anglicans in North America, in USA and Canada, under the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, the Right Reverend Dr. Felix Oji, has joined the host of orders in congratulating the new primates of the Church of Nigeria, the Most Reverend Henry Ndokoba, on his presentation as the fifth primate of the Church. According to Bishop Orji, the convocation of Anglican Church in North America heartily welcomed the new primates and pledged their loyalty while praying that the Lord will give him wisdom, power and courage to lead the church in these turbulent and discordant times. Praying also for the primates as he assumes his role as Bishop of the Diocese of Abuja, Archbishop of Abuja Ecclesiastical Province and the Archbishop Metropolitan and the Primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, that the Lord in His grace will strengthen him to proclaim Jesus Christ as the crucified, risen and ascended Savior, Lord and King of the Church of Nigeria and the world. As part of the measures taken to combat the infection of coronavirus pandemic, Israeli authorities also ordered the closure of the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. The decision to close the Christian place of worship was communicated during a meeting between representatives of the Israeli police force and the representatives of the churches who shared the management of the Holy Sepulchre. During the closure, the communities that traditionally reside inside the basilica will continue to celebrate the liturgies that mark the day in the place of worship and will ensure that prayers inside the basilica will continue with greater intensity. Moving on to some sports stories, Arsenal head coach Mikel Ateta is completely fine after battling COVID-19, which has killed more than 24,000 people around the world and brought sports to a standstill. The 38-year-old who tested positive on March 12 said he was concerned about infecting those around him, including his players, and was scared about who he would infect after contracting the virus. He added that with the Premier League suspended due to the coronavirus, Arsenal are ninth in the table, eight points adrift the fourth placed Chelsea. Real Madrid club has confirmed that Santiago Bernabeu Stadium will be used as a storage center for medical equipment to help Spain's fight against the coronavirus. The 81,000-seater stadium will house donations made by businesses and organizations, particularly those that work in the sports sector, before passing them on to the Spanish health authorities. Spain had recorded more than 4,000 deaths due to the virus, and Madrid is the country's worst affected area, with more than 2,000 deaths so far. And that's the size of the news on the hour. Thank you for watching. I am Charles Philip Wakulam. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.